Hey guys, I am introducing a new look today. It is one that can be worn in the spring, summer, um, even winter, fall. It's just a year-round look. Um, it's great for daytime and it's um, it's one of those less, you know, it's more understated. So those of you who think that some of my makeup is too out there and too much, um, this is a much simpler look that you should be um, pretty happy with, or at least I hope so. So let's get started. So I've already put on my face makeup and I filled in my brows. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my loose powder um, and use it as a nude shadow and just put it on my brow bone here. I noticed the, co the Coastal Scents palette I have doesn't have any nude in it. Um, I ordered a palette that's mostly browns and I'm hoping that'll have some nudes in there for me. What we're going to do is instead of using an eyeshadow primer, I'm actually using this Wet n Wild pencil. Um, it's their Idle Eyes Cream Shadow Pencil in number 130 Pixie. And this is what it looks like. It's just a very fat crayon and it's a pretty nude color. And we're going to put that on our crease and all over our, our lid. This is a really great base color if you're going to use like a nude um, like a really sparkly nude shadow. I used to I used to use a sparkly nude and put it on my lid and then a brown in the crease. Um, it was my go-to look for the longest time and I used this as the base and I think I'll do that again soon in a tutorial because it was one of my favorite looks. But right now I want the pop of color. So this is going to be my base. And they've got several colors and you can use one that's closest to the the shade you're putting on um, with powder and it'll work like a really good concealer or a good um, eyeshadow primer and what else is um, when you sharpen them they do sharpen nicely there's a lot of pencils I dislike because when you sharpen them the wood just doesn't want to sharpen evenly or like the color inside will break off periodically this sharpens really nicely so I'm really impressed especially with it being one of those really affordable Wet n Wild products Wet n Wild is an affordable brand um, they don't pay me to say that I'm just I'm just a huge fan of them so I have to rant and rave about them um, but yeah, I definitely, I love these pencils. I've got them in a zillion colors. I've got blue and green and I've got purple and it's, yeah, I just love them. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take a crease brush, make sure it's cleaned off, and I'm going to pick up one of the colors here on this palette. Um, it's from the Coastal 120 palette. Um, this is the, this is the part of the palette that doesn't have any marble colors. So if you've got the two blacks up here in the right corner, then starting from the bottom left, go one, two, three, four spaces over. And we're going to take that and put it right at our crease and slightly above. And it's kind of a mix between a nude and tan. It's kind of a really light tan slash dark nude. And I already put my um, loose face powder on my brow bone so it kind of goes to a darker nude to a lighter nude which is you know the ombre effect I keep saying ombre because it's like my favorite word of the day apparently okay next we're taking the brown shimmery color right next to it so we just used this one and now we're going to use this one and put that in our crease it's definitely a whole new experience doing this looking in the camera as opposed to a mirror Next I'm taking a small crease brush, clean off my previous shadow off of it. Um, and I'm going to pick up that same brown that we just used and line along my lower lash line. And it's not going to be really obvious contrast, it's just going to shadow it a bit. See. Hence the name eyeshadow. Next with a flat brush I'm going to pick up one of my pigments from my line which is Ecstatic Eyeshadows and you can check that out on Etsy. I'll post a link to it below. Um, at this moment I'm kind of out of stock on a lot of colors as well as um, the containers to put everything in but within the next few weeks I will 
at least before the, before the end of the year sometime um, in December I'll get re um, restocked on everything get the jars and sifters back um, and I'm also going to make some of these colors pressed I think um, instead of all loose and there also will be a ton more color options because right now I don't have very many options and I need to kind of expand a bit it's time so um keep your eyes peeled if you're interested in trying out this color it is a really it's hard to explain it's like it's kind of like a grayish light blue and it's got some kind of gold really fine specks in it it's just it's so pretty so it is one of my favorites from my line and again it is called millennium so I'm just going to pick some up here and you can also order samples of this. You don't have to get a full size container. Um, if you are interested and want to be notified as soon as I have it back in stock, um, or enough to sell anyways, I, I probably have enough now for samples. Um, but if you, so if you are interested, send me a message and I'll get a sample to you. Okay, so I'm just carefully patting this on on my lid. And right at the outer corner, I'm letting it, I'm patting it a little thinner so it'll blend into the brown, or the light brown that I put there. And I'm going all the way into my tear duct, and all the way in the inner corner. And I'm not putting it on the crease because that's where the, our brown is, it's just going on my lid. See in this camera, it kind of looks like a green, but it's nowhere near green. It's a very grayish blue. It's a year round eyeshadow really, I mean, since it's light, it makes you want to put it on mostly in the summer and spring, but it really is year-round. So it works for day and at night, too, because it's got those really, really fine gold specks in it. But definitely day. So if you want to have kind of a smoky, dramatic without being overly dramatic, look for the day. This would be a good one. Like if you want to do something a little fancy for work but your boss doesn't want you to do you know the typical smoky eye um, then this would be a good one I'm also going to take my small angled brush it's a very tiny brush and I'm going to put it right um, at my lower lash line right at the very inner corner only just to kind of like highlight that area I think a gold shadow um, around the crease and underneath would be pretty as well or um, get like a gold eyeliner if you want to line that. I think that would be really pretty. It would bring out the gold flecks in the Millennium. So I'm using my Maybelline Define Align Eyeliner. Um, what is the name of the color? Brownish Black. So I thought it was going to have some fancy name like Tawny or something like that. But it's Brownish Black. And I'm just going to do a little bit of um, eyeliner. I'm not going to make it super thick. I'm dying to see a picture of this look on someone with hazel eyes. So or any other color eye because I know what it looks like on brown eyes but I think hazel would be like awesome so if you've got some lighter colored eyes and you want to do this look take a picture and show me because I want to see it link it link it to your Instagram or your Facebook or something below even if you try any of my other color or any of my other tutorials and try those I would always love to see someone um, post a picture of how it came out I think that would be so exciting be like oh yeah I helped inspire that now I'm just going to do a very thin coat um, of mascara on my lower lashes and for that I'm using the Maybelline Illegal Link Mascara. Um, there are Dell Invisibands um, Babies and they're black and I got them from Sally's for $3.49 so, and they've already been trimmed to fit my lashes. I'll list a link below um, also for how I do false lashes and how I blend my natural lashes in with my false lashes which speaking of natural lashes I totally forgot to curl them and put my mascara on them duh see I get to making these videos and I distract myself it's like I got ADD or something so I need to do this quickly before my glue dries um, but anyways check out that video because there are several tips in it um, and I had friends that all pointed out the same tip they said that they had no idea and it worked really well so check out that video and see what that tip is. Finished look. Hope you love it. See you in a future video. Thanks for watching.